Hello everyone, this is Clementine. I'm coming live from Sacramento, California, United States of America. Thank you for watching. Thank you for being here. Thank you for your time. I appreciate you. For those who are joining me right now, again, my name is Clementine. I'm coming live from here in Sacramento, California. I am excited. I'm overwhelmed. I have packed my suitcases and I'm heading to San Jose International Airport. So uh, the reason I am heading to the airport is because I'm traveling to Africa. I'm going to Kenya. My uh, flight is connecting uh, my, it was starting from San Jose. I'll go to Salt Lake City and then from Salt Lake City to Europe and then to Africa. We hardly have any flights that are direct from California to Africa. I haven't heard of them, but I don't think we have. Hello, this is Clementine. Uh, for those who are joining me right now, and uh, I'm on my way to San Jose International Airport. Uh, my trip is tomorrow. Uh, right now, we are in the city of Sacramento. This is uh, the bridge is joining the old part of Sacramento to the new part of Sacramento. And see we have the White House, we have the river, um, we have actually two rivers that cross through the city of Sacramento. One is the Sacramento River and the other is the American River. Uh, those two, I don't know which one is which because I think at one time they join. Other than that, that's our beautiful city of Sacramento. is a major employing uh, center, uh, for example, mainly in healthcare. We have major hospitals like UC Davis, Shriners Hospital, Mercy General San Juan Folsom, Kaiser Permanente, and uh, Kenya, 
uh, many Kenyans are proud of Shriners Hospital. Uh, this hospital, a few years, about 10 years ago, took many Kenyans that were involved in uh, fracas that many people were burned in their houses. So many of those children came to Shriners Hospital here in Sacramento, and we thank you, Shriners Hospital. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much for those who are joining us right now. My name is Clementine, and thank you for joining my uh, channel right now. Um, we are on our way to uh, uh, San Francisco area, uh, specifically we are going to San Jose International Airport. Uh, the reason we are uh, driving there is because I'm traveling tomorrow to Nairobi, Kenya, and um, uh, I'm going with my whole family. They are taking me to San Jose. Some of them will come back home. Some of them will go with me. Hello, hello, this is Clementine. If you're joining me right now, I am on my trip uh, from Sacramento to San Jose International Airport. So far, we are entering into uh, San Francisco, and this is one of the bridges that connect the mainland to the city. Not far from the hotel now. This is, oh, we got the is, you know, fried, fried beef yeah. duck with the uh, pork chops. Fried beef duck with the dumplings. You already ordered? No. So we got last one. Oh, and french fries. But then I can't see. And I can see myself. Oh, that one doesn't have a lot of Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, wherever you are. My name is Clementine and I'm so excited that you're checking out my videos. Thank you so much. Please hit the subscribe uh, button uh, before you continue. So if you are joining me right now, I am uh, at uh, San Jose International Airport. I started this journey yesterday from Sacramento. I am joined with my family and I am, the two of us will be going to Nairobi in Kenya. Say bye-bye to your family members. Go to the checking in desk. Give out your checking in luggage. 
those are usually your two suitcases or maybe one suitcase. Make sure the weight is right. Then proceed upstairs or downstairs to the gates, but you'll have to pass through security checkpoint. That is why they're going to check your body. They, you'll pass through a scan. And your luggage, uh, the smaller bags that you'll be going with them uh, in your hands are also going to be checked through the x-ray. Sometimes they've got dogs. So make sure there is nothing you're hiding or you think you'll pass through with it. Holding tight to family, looking in your eyes, and I feel but that I could stay a while Taking all we planned and building it up again And I see what will be for you and I Hooray! You've been cleared by security You are good to go So wait in the lounge but from time to time, check on the board or the big screen to make sure that your flight is still on time. And when it's time, you'll be called. They will start calling in people according to their zones. Maybe those with, with uh, traveling with kids fast, the veterans, the first class, the second class, the third class. So don't run. Kila mtu ataingia. The plane starts moving as soon as everybody goes in. flight is taking off we are leaving San Jose we are heading to Amsterdam in Europe this flight will take about nine hours pray for us This is how first class looks like. 
You see how it looks like? I can push down the head of my bed and the legs will lengthen up and then it becomes a bed. I was given a blanket, I've got some socks. Amsterdam. I'm going to freshen up. See the good thing of being in first class? The pilot shakes your hand. Jameni munga menipenda. Nimetoka kule Western America. Nimeingi hapa Europe. Na nimekana billionaires. Oh Jameni. Hallelujah. This is an auspicious moment for me. Hello guys, this is Clementine, Schiphol International Airport, Amsterdam landing soon. Hello everybody, this is Clementine, uh, please subscribe to my channel if you haven't, I've got really good things to share with you and I hope you too are going to enjoy it just as I am. Uh, on this journey we are in Amsterdam, we are here for about two hours and we'll be connecting to Nairobi, so please uh, subscribe. Uh, in, we used first class, and first class, you are treated like a baby. They ask you all the time what you need, if you are okay. Uh, they bring food all the time. They give you snacks. They give you drinks. People are drunk. People are whatever. It's just like, it's actually like you're in there for business. And they really treat you so well. I have had a privilege of using first class. I've never used first class before. And uh, I'm going to use first class all the way to Nairobi. I don't know if it's going to, the seat arrangement is going to be the same uh, with enough room and to recline your bed and make it flat. Some places it's, it's not actually like, uh, it's a recliner chair and sometimes you see two people. But in this particular one from US I was all by myself in that small compartment. Okay. We've been in Amsterdam for two hours. We've freshened up. We've eaten something at their uh, duty-free restaurants. Now checking out for Nairobi. See, when we were growing up, we were told that God is above the clouds. And this is how it looks when you're above the clouds. This is how it looks. See, I don't see God. But I think to see God, you need to go beyond. We've been in the air for some time. We are heading to Nairobi. Finally, in Nairobi, it's at night, preparing to land. 
Thank you, Jesus. In Nairobi, everybody is directed to the immigration. That's where everybody goes when they land. They will check your passport. They will check your visa. And uh, everything has to be right. You must have a visa to enter the country, especially if you're foreign. If you don't, you will not enter. You will go back. Another hooray! We've been cleared by the immigration. We are allowed to enter the country. Some people have been put aside for interrogation, what they are coming to do in the country, what they are carrying, if they are carrying any illegal uh, drugs, if they have guns. So if they suspect you, they just put you aside and they can keep you there for years, for hours, I mean. So right now we've been cleared. We are at, uh, next thing is our luggage and then ready to leave. So you are excited, you've finished, you've entered the country, but in Kenya, they also have another second place I don't know if it's legal or illegal, where you'll have to pass again with your suitcases. They will ask you to declare how much your property, your belongings that are in those suitcases are worth. Whatever amount you tell them, they want you to pay tax. Thank you so much.